Thing like Tesla. Geek Thoughts, Micah here. This is Think Like Tesla, where we celebrate and talk about a certain Serbian inventor, and we learn how to think more clearly. But today, we've got Mailbag, so let's dig in. This first package is from Jameco Electronics, their local outfit. They, uh, their main headquarters is actually not too far from where I used to work. Sometimes on lunch hours, I would go over there and see what I could browse. All right, let's see here. I do like to shop local for my parts whenever it's reasonable to do so. All right. So what we've got here, let's start off with this guy. Right now, if you go on Jameco, you can get 100 2.5 kilovolt capacitors for about three bucks fifty. So we can definitely do something interesting with that. Got a nice filtered power inlet with a fuse. I know exactly what I'm going to use that in. Let's see, what is this? Pneumatics. Oh, a solenoid valve. I know what I'm going to use that for too. Stay tuned. And we got a bunch of small parts in here. Got some perf board. Got some ICs. Got an extra tip for a desoldering iron. Got some rocker switches. Some more rocker switches. Good, good, good. This looks like a power pigtail. Some alphanumeric displays. Very cool. And another one of those power filters. And I did check the box, so I got a free, cal a free uh, catalog. Next up is DigiKey, one of the big providers. If you've never ordered from DigiKey before, it is quite an experience to unpack here. get a lifetime supply of those little static proof bags and Ziploc, tiny little Ziploc bags from all different sizes. All right. And I don't know what this stuff is called. That's pretty good at filling space. All right. Look at all these. have made a mistake and clicked on the real option for something here. These are 10 ohm resistors. Not very many on, on a reel here, are they? I'm not going to be doing any pick and play, so that's going to be to repair a fan. Talk about that in the upcoming episode too. So look at this. Oh, it's a nice giant Ziploc bag. of tiny zip records. All right, look at all this stuff. It's falling all over the place. All right, so this is wrapped in a static bag, and inside the static bag, it's also in a uh, one of those plastic static proof containers. Okay, so these are IRF 510 MOSFETs. And a uh, relay. This is some of these parts here are for my micro bit X extension, uh, rebuilding the Raduino component. SPI backpack, some nice capacitors, 2N3906 transistors, known to be good. Some of the ones you order for two cents a piece on eBay are not the greatest. Some more capacitors. 
So yeah, lots of good stuff here that I'm going to sort through. I do want to check out these two big things here. Oh. Oh, these are ferrite inductors. Toroidal. And some hinged ones. All right, so that's mailbag. Little bit of non-electronic maker fun here. These things, you see them a lot on eBay, are ostensibly for CNC machines and the like to direct a stream of air. They're really bendable. Stream, or maybe in some cases even a stream of oil onto a work product that's being worked on. But if you work at it, you can actually fit an alligator clip in the end here. And these make pretty good helping hand tools. So all you have to do is find a way to mount it. Now the connection on these is a standard half inch 20 thread. So I found a sale on Amazon from these nice bolts. Separately, I also found these. This is a magnetic, the one ring, and it's very good magnet too. I don't know how they made this, but, and it fits on there just excellently. Now these bolts have the uh, Teflon washer in here that a metal bolt would have to cut its way through. These are just plastic and they're not going to cut very well. So let me cut away to some pictures here to show how I did this. So I used some JB Weld steel and forced epoxy and I just glued, out, glued it on to both sides of the piece here and let it set overnight. It makes a really solid connection. Here's what's left of it. And when this sticks, this is a steel plate that I also got an Amazon warehouse for like a couple dollars. So when these stick on there, they really stick. This is not going anywhere. So that's a, that's a good helping hand tool. In contrast, here's a commercial one that I bought for probably $17. It's got a cool Y adapter. It's got a magnet on the bottom here, but this magnet does not stick nearly as well. So when it's on here, it's pretty easy to tip it over. I can pull it off with one hand. This one doesn't want to come off. So I might actually refit this guy with one of these. That's with one of these. That's how well it works. And I had enough of the JB weld left over to make this guy on camera here. This is just a stack of washers. In the middle here is a speaker magnet from a voice coil and then some smaller washers on top. I had just enough JB weld left over to kind of fill in the gaps here. So if I wanted to make this look really nice, I could sand it down and paint it and, and make this looking really nice. But that's for the wow stick. This weighs about 75 grams. And so I've seen some of the new ones have a nice holder. So this is a very stable holder. This thing weighs about 200 grams to the 75. So it's really stable. It's going to hold on to it. It's not going to go anywhere. In fact, it kind of holds on to it too well sometimes. So I have my wow stick screwdriver ready when I need it. This gone. Instead of a recommendation this week, we have a moment of silence for the Ampere. You probably heard about the redefinition of the kilogram. It used to be defined by a physical object kept in France. By definition, if the mass of that object would change, so would the definition of the kilogram. Probably not the best way to uh, keep track of things. So the kilogram has been defined in terms of constants of nature. The uh, ampere was also defined in terms of the kilogram. Previous definition of the ampere was that constant current which, if maintained in two straight parallel conductors of infinite length, of negligible circular cross-section and place one meter apart in a vacuum would produce between these conductors a force equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 7th Newton per meter of length. Pretty easy to replicate that experiment, huh? The new definition is simply a fixed number of elementary charges. This is the reciprocal of a Coulomb, 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19. Not only has the kilogram been defined, or technically will be redefined early in 2019, so is the ampere. So we always want to get units right on this podcast, so thought I would mention that. <laughs>